Hey guys, welcome back. We have a new week of energy to get into and I will tell you this month of December is starting off with some very busy energy. We have a lot happening and unfolding really all week long and it started yesterday on December 1st with our new moon in Sagittarius. We also have Mars stationing retrograde this week. We have Venus changing signs. We have Neptune stationing direct. We have the second of three Mercury Jupiter oppositions while these two planets are in mutual reception and we also have a mercury sun exact conjunction that is going to be happening on the 6th along with mars's station that's a lot of activity over just the course of this seven days but as we do move through the month things are going to open up and slow down a little bit all the action really is happening and jam-packed within this like first seven days of the month of december for the most part we of course do still have full moons going on and december is actually a unique month because we have two new moons that happened in December. We had one yesterday on the 4th or <laughs> yesterday on the 1st. We will have another new moon uh, in Capricorn actually on the 30th. So December really is quite a busy month all the way around. But this first week, as I said, this is where all the action is happening and I'm here to talk about it. So let's get into our report of the day, you guys. Let's look at all that we've got coming at us throughout the course of the week, more specifically what we've got going on to get our week started and perhaps what we can expect as we begin to move through this energy. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today is Monday, December 2nd, 2024. My name is Aubrey. This is your astrological outlook of the day where we are narrating the shift of the ages. And if you guys stick with me until the end of the video, I have done a collective tarot reading today for us as well. I like to tap the energy field for more than one modality whenever I'm doing these overviews just to get an alternative energetic perspective on what's going on out there. So there could be some messages in there for you. We're gonna do that at the end. We're gonna start at the beginning with the astrology as I mentioned in my intro, you guys, this is a busy week. We have a lot of transits going on this week. There's a lot of shifts happening this week. There are a lot of changes happening this week. I think that this week could have us, you know, really questioning some things, maybe reconsidering some things, maybe redirecting some things, perhaps maybe feeling like we need to put a pause on something. And of course, we got a lot to talk about that's coming through uh, for a few different reasons and a few different ways. There's also a very strong, prominent emphasis on Mercury and Jupiter in their mutual reception this week as well. Also indicating very busy week, a lot of communication, perhaps like travel, short distance trips, things going back and forth, transactions, purchases, emails, phone calls, text messages, just very busy, very communication oriented week. Things could feel like quite lit out there like quite stimulated especially like as we begin the week following this new moon and Sag we just had and moving through the weekend now I will say once we get to the weekend Saturday and Sunday we've got Mars stationing to go retrograde that could kind of like again like push that pause button or have us kind of like maybe tap in the brakes a little bit and then we've got Neptune stationing as well which is going to I mean the combination of Mars and Neptune both stationed and you know with over the course within just like one day of one another um, Mars going backwards Neptune going forward that could kind of just like bring energy levels down to some extent um but up until that point in time, as we move through, you know, Monday through Friday this week, at least, I think that things are going to be happening kind of quickly. And it's probably just, again, going to be like very busy energy, maybe feeling pulled in multiple different directions at the same time, or just like one thing after another, after another, maybe like can't catch our breath or can't catch up with ourselves. But don't fret, you guys. Another message coming through right now, I think that we need to not worry despite maybe the more like frantic or frenetic or perhaps like a bit chaotic or all over the place uh unsettled maybe anxiety ridden nature of some of the stuff going on right now there is kind of a message coming through today to not worry there's literally like a higher <laughs> if you've got faith there's a higher power that is very very involved in the way that situations and events are playing out right now and um having a measure of trust in that and like leaning into our faith a little bit here and kind of just leaving a little bit of room for um things to be altered in a way that's perhaps out of our control but 
for the best maybe in a way that we wouldn't have anticipated um i think that that is going to be a more commonplace experience as we go through this week as well at least in the way that i'm interpreting the energy that we have present and we're going to talk about all of it um i do want to say just sort of the outline of this report for today i am going to focus on to start the report sort of an overview of what we've got going on all week in the context of these three major i mean shifts that we've got going on mars stationing venus changing signs neptune stationing as well then i'm going to bring it back in and refocus on where we're at more specifically for Monday and Tuesday, starting the week and following on the heels of the new moon that we had yesterday. And then of course, our next video on Wednesday, will pick up where we left off on this video and continue that unfolding story. So that is uh, the game plan, you guys, that is what we're looking at. And game plans, since I just randomly chose that terminology, yes, we should all have a game plan as we move through the month of December that is going to work out in our favor. If you guys caught my last video, the new moon in Sagittarius video, I was talking about how the specific degree placement for that new moon was significant for me in the context of like letting us know that strategy, um, keeping a bird's eye view perspective, broadening our mind, being very measured and calculated and logical in the way that we are thinking about things and the way that we are like executing and making plans and taking actions throughout the month of December, that is going to pay off for us because this new moon was falling in exact alignment with the fixed star entourage, which is really has a lot to do with like military strategy and thinking very precisely and meticulously about things before you take action and act on them. And um, just the nature of the energy that we're moving through right now rewards like tactical precision and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And it also can indicate battles that need to be waged or, you know, challenges or conflicts. And we've got Mars stationing right now as well, which can, Mars is a planet that has to do with battles and wars and conflicts, right? Mars is the, the Lord of the battlefield and that Entree's fixed star that our new moon and Sag was aligned with, that actually is referred to as the second Mars. It's another very, as I said, has to do with military strategy and battle themes. It's another energy that can give very like war like war type connotations and stuff like that. So that's just kind of like the vibe that's going on out there. And the outcomes are going to favor whoever has the greatest and implements the greatest level of strategy, self-control, and just like the measured approach to things. So I was talking about in much more detail in my last video how energy essentially is just operating itself along those lines right now and how to best maneuver through these times to gain the best outcome. But that's sort of just like the brief summary of that. And as we move through the energy this week, I feel like again, that is some very good wisdom that could help us out as we come up against just these varying energetic dynamics that are likely to be making their way into our experience as the week unfolds. Again, very busy week just to formally state what we have going on. Yesterday on December 1st, we had our new moon in Sagittarius, which was in an exact conjunction with the fixed star Entres, an exact opposition with the fixed star Aldebaran. Again, if you wanna know more information about that whole dynamic, watch that video. Um, aside from that, as we move through this week, we have Mars stationing retrograde on the 6th of December. On the 6th of December, we are also going to have a Sun-Mercury exact conjunction because Mercury is retrograde right now, has backed up, and will again come into alignment with the Sun in the sign of Sagittarius. This Mercury-Sun energy, putting a highlight on news, information, communication, short distance travel, partnerships, duos, pairs... But it's bad and it's it's information, it's communication, and it's just a highlight, perhaps. And it, it's Mercury's retrograde. So there could be some missing piece of information or something that we were unaware of, or like that missing puzzle piece that comes through somehow as we move through this week. Um and it could actually, because it's happening in alignment with Mars retrograde, it could uh introduce like a new 
just like factor to something that makes us reconsider our approach. And we're going to talk much more about that as we move through the week. But we also on the seventh have Venus entering Aquarius, where she will also, of course, form a conjunction to Pluto at zero degrees of Aquarius. So we've got a Pluto Venus conjunction this week and Venus changing signs on the seventh as well. That's the day that Neptune stations direct. So we've got a very busy sixth of December. We've got a very busy seventh of December. And then as we move through the week, we're going to have Mercury and Jupiter come back into their second of three exact oppositions while being in mutual reception in each other's signs of Gemini and Sagittarius. That's going to be happening on Wednesday. And on Monday, we have Venus and Uranus in exact trying together in Earth signs while Venus is still transiting the sign of Capricorn. So we've got a, just a lot of transits going on, personal planets making aspect to one another, and then these big like changes of directions, stations, and planets changing signs as well. And by the time that we get to the end of the week, we are going to have Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, and Chiron. They're going to be the only, those are going to be the planets that are retrograding right now. That specific configuration of planets being retrograded at the same time together, I just feel like this, like some type of big fix is in here. People are going to be reconsidering actions and how things should be done and preparing to make changes to like how they're going to be proceeding going forward. Major mind changes coming through here. People also may be pulling away or backing out of things that they thought they were going to be committing to and all of a sudden maybe because of some missing piece of information that comes through or just figuring something out. I don't know something information based though perhaps or realizing something um, sudden changes of direction likely to be going on okay mars stationing retrograde mars retrograde does not rush in head first it reminds me more so again of like the more scorpionic side of the martian energy mars rules two signs rules aries and co-rules with pluto scorpio we also just had this new moon take place which was in a trine to mars also mars and leo was trining the new moon in sagittarius but it was in a conjunction to entourage the second Mars and the side of the Mars energy, again, having to do with like the action behind the scenes, like the silent strategy, the hatching of the plan, what's going on, the activity that goes on behind the surface that like prepares and sets the stage for what is to transpire and unfold. So there's just this big emphasis to me on the more scorpionic side of the Martian energy. And as Mars retrogrades, I feel like that is the expression and the nature of the Martian energy that we're going to be dealing with between now and the end of February. February 23rd, I think it is, when Mars stations direct again. So we've got like a couple of months where we have this more like underground action based energy. This is preparing for things. Okay. This is getting things ready. And this is also making corrections to what we've already done from a place of realizing like, Oh, I should have done that differently. Let me go ahead and like fix that now. So that after this period of time moving forward, I actually have more success and things, um, are just in a better position to manifest or materialize properly. We're making corrections when we have Mars retrograded, but and, and then also with Jupiter and Mercury and Uranus, Uranus fixes things as well. And Jupiter and Mercury, that's retrograde, that is forethought, that is calculation, that is consideration or reconsideration, gathering more information, expanding our mind, expanding our understanding before taking action into something, reevaluating options, choices, and alternatives things are going to be redone over this next couple of weeks, next couple of months. And um, this is going to also therefore bring a change to like what we've got going on currently, the in the steps that we are preparing to take next the trajectory that things look like they're going in. I think that things may have looked like they were heading in a certain direction. Okay, maybe up until about this point in time. But now as we move forward through the course of this week, it's probably going to become very obvious that there needs to be or there is just some significant change in direction that's going on and because mars is retrograding in the sign of leo this is about like personal changes for the purpose of bringing us back to life on some level 
Okay. And again, we are going to talk so much more about the Mars stationing, Mars retrograde, all of that as we move through the week and get more specifically into that energy. But it is all about rethinking the best strategy going forward, best course of action, making changes that align with that and that makes sense in terms of our new next step. Lots of mistakes, lots of redos will probably go on also between now and the end of February when Mars stations and righting wrongs could also really be be uh, involved in all of this somehow, maybe like rebalancing things, reciprocity, because Jupiter and Mercury in their mutual reception, which I've been talking quite a bit about. If you guys have been following along on my channel, you know I've been talking about this, but that is energy that is supporting <laughs> success in the context of like us being able to implement a wisdom that we've gained from experience, like making different choices and decisions based on past patterns, what's happened in the past and what we've learned and therefore how we're going to be altering our behavior going forward. So our rewards come in this energy through our ability to like practice what we preach, you know what I mean? Or to like learn like actually like implement our training like implement the lessons that we've learned in the past in a way that is productive and beneficial to the vision that we're trying to create or the path that we're trying to go down or like however we're trying to change ourselves or our lives right now which really all of us on some level should be putting in some effort i've been talking about this for you know a while now um the 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 energy is really calling us to make some personal changes to have some type of up leveling like personal upgrade rediscover some dimension of ourselves become more self-empowered in directing the course of our own future somehow and this particular grand fire trine that we've been moving through while mars has been in the early degrees of leo when we've had the north node in aries and we had the sun in sagittarius has been like this fuel and this motive to start something to create something to begin something to do something new and to you know let ourselves be motivated to move in like a new direction or something like that so this is a time to really recreate ourselves with Pluto now entering the sign of Aquarius we've been talking on and on about this and again this week is really emphasizing and like doubling down on that notion okay and as we move through the Mars retrograde we are probably going to find ourselves really doing just that but writing things and writing wrongs I think will be relevant as well and we'll talk more about all of that later also Neptune stationing direct so we've got a planet stationing retrograde we've got a planet stationing direct within 24 hours of each other this is another big shift you guys I don't know if you've noticed but over this past several months while Neptune has been retrograding a lot of illusions have been breaking down projections narratives the appearance of things coming to find that oh Oh, that was always just a facade or that was never real and perhaps shattering some old belief systems or general understandings of things that we thought were true the things that we thought we could trust maybe coming to find out that um there were a lot more like flaws in that system than we originally understood Okay, so Neptune retrograding through the sign of Pisces has been really doing a lot to help break us out perhaps of some illusions that we may have been operating under and to really maybe make some things clear to us in a way that we hadn't perceived previously. Now with Neptune stationing direct alongside Mars stationing retrograde and also with this prominent Mercury Jupiter opposition mutual reception and both retrograde energy that we have going on right now it is time to let go of what is not working or what we've been lying to ourselves about or what we've been deluding ourselves about and maybe change course change direction change our mind about where we're going and what we're going to be doing next again that specific planetary configuration mars 
you know, stationing retrograde while Neptune stations direct. It's like, okay, like now I'm gaining clarity. I'm breaking myself out of this illusion. Like I'm coming to understand perhaps the fallacies of my previous ways when I was operating from maybe that more clouded perspective of things. But now that I'm figuring this out, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> maybe I should just take a pause for a minute. Maybe I should not keep going like head first in that direction. Maybe I should just like chill out. Uh, consider the larger perspective, gain some additional facts and data and information and perspective. <laughs> consider the way that things have played out in the past, past patterning and what has happened when I did X, Y, and Z before. Maybe create a strategy, maybe create a game plan, maybe like play out some different scenarios and see where each one might lead to before I decide on a particular course of action. This is what this energy, to me, other people may disagree, but to me, this is what this energy is recommending that we do, okay? Our actions, choices, and decisions now and moving forward should be realigning with what we know and what we have come to found, find out is actually true based on the conclusion of this Neptune retrograde process where perhaps a lot of illusions have been broken down on some level or in some way okay so the time for acting and choosing from a place of confusion or illusion or lack of clarity lack of understanding all that type of stuff like that's done that's over we know that because of this simultaneous realignment of both mars and neptune at the same time with Mercury and Jupiter both retrograde in opposition to one another, okay? So more powerful changes on the way this week. And we also, of course, know that we are in a time of powerful change as Pluto is at zero degrees of Aquarius right now. Also, another another energy that is giving power to information and knowledge and personal awareness, okay? And then we also are going to have the Sun-Mercury conjunction that is happening later this week as well. And when the Sun and Mercury come into exact alignment, that is another energy that is said to provide a missing piece of information or just highlight something significant with information or knowledge or understanding somehow so a lot all roads are kind of leading to a missing piece of information a missing puzzle piece a shift in perspective realizing something maybe even like a flash of insight or just something coming to us somehow that perhaps causes us to like pause in our motion pause in our movement reconsider something and maybe like alter our course slightly as we begin to head through the rest of the month, okay? But very, very strong mercurial energy this week, which means it's probably going to be a, vi a very busy week, all right? So there is your weekly overview. We're gonna take a step back this week. We're gonna analyze our progress, the lessons that we've learned and our next steps based on all we come to find and understand over the course of this period of time, okay? Energy really revolves around and inspires the changes that we are preparing to make. We are being set up to alter course or make some changes as we move throughout the course of this week. Now, let's go back to specifically where we are to start the week on Monday. Of course, coming out of the new moon in Sagittarius that happened on Sunday, December 1st. As a result of that, the sun is still in a conjunction with Antares, but it's not an exact conjunction. It's because that was where our new moon is. So we've got a two degree orb between the sun and the fixed star Antares to start the week. But again, because of the sun's proximity to this fixed star, this is also a week where we do best to implement a level of strategy or planning or care in the context of whatever we're trying to execute on throughout the course of the week. There could be more of these more pronounced military or battle themes that we find playing themselves out in our personal lives or on the world stage somehow, part of the more collective narrative, oppositional forces flexing muscles showing strength. That's what we're looking at, okay? In terms of aspects that we've got going on specifically to start on Monday, we're going to have the moon in Sagittarius, of course, coming out of our new moon in Sag, coming into square with Neptune in Pisces. We're also going to have Mercury retrograding in Sagittarius, now within two degrees, a two degree orb opposition from Jupiter and Gemini as we open the week on Monday. And as I mentioned earlier, Venus in the sign of Capricorn hits an exact trine to Uranus retrograding in the sign of Taurus 
Aquarius, which is Venus's sign on Monday as well. So these three energies in combination, gaining knowledge, perspective, understanding, clarity, Mercury, Jupiter opposition brings us that sudden changes, perhaps in assets, possessions, resources, finances, things suddenly changing, but also maybe in a way that they're kind of like falling into place. Unexpected changes in relationships could also be going on. Partnership dynamics could be somewhat in flux right now, but awakening to deeper purpose, deeper potential, resources, worth, value. All of this can come when we've got a trine happening between Venus and Uranus, especially when Uranus is coming from Venus's sign and a desire for change innovation, excitement. This is an attraction to like what is new, what is different. It's kind of a bit of a more restless energy, but there's not really a strong taste for the status quo and just like the normal humdrum of things. Things can feel like really extra boring and we can just kind of seek stimulation and excitement when we've got a Venus Uranus aspect going on especially by trying things can also obviously not go as planned especially in the context of maybe meetings with other people plans that you have with other people dates dinners social occasions parties social gatherings there could be some just like unexpected shifts and changes but this is not a square it's a trine so things may like not exactly go as planned but they also may sort of fall into place in a way that ends up working out better than you might have been able to plan it overall though monday could bring with it the desire for something new we see that with the Jupiter Mercury mutual reception opposition going on right now like we're really changing our minds about a lot of things really like there could also be a very different perspective that we're having about things from the past as well or maybe like partners or people that we've dealt with or experiences that we've had there's like a true opportunity here to really gain some very significant and life-changing wisdom literally based on just reevaluating our past experiences and the lessons that they taught us and what we've gained and how we've changed from that um, self-awareness and an ability to be very self analytical in a way that helps and leads to tremendous amounts of personal growth is available to us if we can kind of like step outside of our ego in this energy and really focus on that up leveling self improvement personal upgrade recreating ourselves into the better higher more divinely aligned version of ourselves so much support um, in terms of our efforts along those lines as we move through this time and as we move through this month but with the moon coming into the square, the moon and Sag coming into the square with Neptune in Pisces, this could also bring like a bit of like lack of satisfaction, like lacking inner satisfaction, things falling short maybe of our expectations, not measuring up or turning into the hope or the vision or the ideal that we had from them, like moon and Sag squaring Neptune and Pisces things falling short of the ideal discouragement disillusionment feeling maybe like jaded or just unimpressed by things dissatisfied by things generally this could also be something that is kind of playing into that yearning to change things up uh, do something new experience something different with the venus uranus trine that's going on also and then with the mercury retrograde opposite jupiter retrograde seeking truth higher understanding trying to figure things out gain new opportunities make changes and experience with the venus uranus trying in earth signs i always say and i always notice when planets are making aspects and earth signs this generally is when we are likely to see things actually like manifesting and happening in the physical 3d reality around us like when we're talking about fire signs a lot of times that's like our passions and what is exciting us when we're talking about air signs it's our ideas and what we're talking about when we're talking about water signs that's like our emotions and how we're feeling about things but when we bring earth signs into it it's like sometimes <laughs> that's just like what's actually happening so it's not just that we are like conceptualizing this change like we actually physically want to experience Experience it like we want things to be different and feel different when we have Venus trining Uranus in the sign of Taurus which is a very sensual sign all about like how we're physically feeling and experiencing and sensing the world around us so we want actual physical change when we've got this 
aspect playing out and as a result of that you know we can probably go ahead and expect to be making big personal changes throughout the course of the week throughout the course of the month the ways in which we are under stimulated and accepting less than we feel like we deserve right now it's not going to be tolerable anymore and with mars going retrograde we're going to re we're going to need to redo aspects of our life that are stealing our life you know what i mean mars is a sign of leo this is a sign of the sun the sign of the life force force energy anything that is like stifling or suffocating like our life force our creative potential our personal creative self-expression our ability to just feel like vital and vigorous and like thriving in our reality like that is what we're going to want to kind of like back away from move away from really reconsider maybe we should keep dealing with that as we move forward throughout this period of time so things are just likely to change on a very personal level okay we are starting something new that we're going to figure out during this period of time that's going to move us forward and realign us with where we are supposed to be and feed life back into our heart and back into our soul i think that is the purpose for a lot of the redirects that are going to be going on right now now on tuesday the moon will have left sagittarius entered capricorn squared the nodes of the moon again like there could be some challenges there could be some conflict that's going on but these are faded changes these are divinely aligned like there's divine intervention happening right now you guys um if things just seem to be happening and maybe you wouldn't have picked it this way but like deep inside you know this is the right thing this is the right thing have faith have trust believe in miracles be creative seek options maintain the bigger picture okay um build a strategy build a game plan be measured be patient okay be calculated it's and it's it's going to be okay and it's going to be probably even better than okay we also on tuesday have mercury now within a one degree of exact opposition of jupiter so again big news big emphasis on information there could be informational significance that goes on somehow on tuesday and wednesday actually and we'll i'll be back to talk specifically about wednesday but that's kind of a big day because that is when we're going to have the exact mercury at jupiter opposition number two of three that's going on We'll also have a moon Venus Pluto conjunction that happens on Wednesday as well. So more revelations possible as we move through the week emphasis this week on action options, questions and answers. For sure, this is definitely a time of changing direction. Opportunity comes through change. We have some interesting symbolism that's presenting alongside of the energy and the chart to start our week on Monday also that is really right in alignment with these very same themes that all of this is presenting right now. The sun is at 12 Sag, a flag that turns into an eagle and crow. So we've got literal metamorphosis that we're talking about in the position of the sun the earth is at 12 degrees of gemini a slave girl demands her rights of her mistress this is another symbol that i feel like is very much playing into these big changes big breakthroughs um regaining the sense of personal self-empowerment that this time and this energy is trying to bring to us we have mercury at 19 sag pelicans menaced by the behavior and refuse of men seek safer areas Areas for bringing up their young more changes in directions and how things are going to be done repositioning things we also have Jupiter 17 degrees of Gemini the head of a robust youth changes into that of a mature thinker that is literally like verbatim I think a lot of the way that this energy is going to be functioning I think that we are going to be being a lot smarter about things generally or at least thinking more about things but this is talking about this process of maturation in terms of how we're thinking and how we're using our mind and what we're doing with it um as we move through this period of time with jupiter at that position that's also the degree where jupiter jupiter will be when mercury and jupiter do come into their exact opposition on wednesday so we're figuring something out you guys in a way that maybe is helping us to grow up in some way that is shifting our perspective or that is just helping us to be more mature 
more strategic perhaps and better able to mentally maneuver whatever challenge we may face as we move through this period of time so i found that symbolism to be interesting in the context of all this energy as well that's what i have to say for our astrology today you guys let's talk about our tarot cards for a minute now this is a very interesting reading that we do have coming out here as well but i will tell you on the back of the deck we have the nine of swords in reverse and the wheel of fortune if you get nothing else out of today's entire report i feel like this is a very strong message there is even the things that we feel like are like major threats right now or maybe we need to be really worried or concerned about to a great extent like there is this divine intervention that is underway and it's not as scary as we think it is the nine of swords in reverse like if this card was upright it would be a totally different story but with this card in reverse it in the wheel of fortune on top of it to me that means that we have nothing to worry about and actually like god's got this one like universe has this one like it's gonna go in our favor there's going to be a uh, like a turning of the fates like a shifting of events or somehow whatever it is that may have felt like the end or such a nightmare or been stressing us out so much or something like that is going to shift in our favor and not in a way that we need to make happen like it's just the way that the cards are going to fall okay so let's talk about the actual tarot reading that we've got going on today now this reading actually is kind of giving some of those same vibes to me the first card that we have coming out is the four of cups in reverse followed by the page of swords followed by the queen of swords in reverse followed by the two of pentacles followed by the seven of swords followed by the death card you guys Anybody that's been like lying or like being deceptive or presenting false facts or false information or trying to get away with things and it's been like confusing you or making it so that you don't know what to do or you're not sure what to trust or you're not sure what to choose or you maybe not sure what action to take this reading to me like if there's some type of scenario like that that is playing itself out out there for you whatever that shady behavior is whatever that deception or that manipulation or the like underhandedness or stealing power or trying to get away with something whatever that is followed by the death card it's not gonna it, it, it it's not going to work okay i think we could put it that way like it's going to come to an end it's not going to be successful it's going to be transformed into something that brings brings it to the end and does not give it life okay you, you know what i mean um with the four of cups in reverse followed by the page of swords this could be like something that we've been refusing to acknowledge or refusing to see or refusing to participate in or maybe we just were even unaware of was even going on and then the page of swords it's like we're receptive to it or we're figuring it out or we're seeing it or we're gaining an awareness of it or we're spying on it or we're gaining some piece of information that stimulates our minds somehow like we're figuring something out or we're gaining an awareness of something that we were either unwilling or unable to acknowledge or to see in the past then with the queen of swords in reverse the queen of swords this is a real powerful energy and it has a lot to do with truth and integrity and honesty but when it's in reverse this is like lies and deception and people not having integrity and not being straightforward followed by the uh two of pentacles in a state of flux not able to choose not able to decide not really sure confusion back and forth like is it this or is it this this could be like gaslighting you know what i mean and then with the seven of swords trying to get away with something trying to hide something trying to like be a bandit in the night and like make off with the goods without getting caught you know like very shady behavior and also this is stealing power like he's stealing the swords like this is like doing something behind someone's back to try to get an upper hand but when we're following it with the death card you guys like 
that's really obvious don't you think like there's no go there like that there's no life that goes into like there's a a, a dead conclusion <laughs> to whatever that was all right so I don't know if you've got something going on that it has anything to do with any of this maybe that makes sense to you but that's what it's looking like for me okay so that's what I gotta say about that and again like <laughs> there's just so much energetic support for and even the mercury sun Kazemi like with mercury retrograde coming into alignment this week we're going to gain something is going to be highlighted in a way and then right like that's happening the mercury sun alignment is happening exactly when mars is stationing retrograde and then the next day turn around the next day and um <laughs> neptune goes direct yeah something is going to be highlighted some illusion or confusion or that we didn't understand you know something's probably going to be cleared up in a way that causes us to perhaps want to change course or just alter our direction or fix something somehow okay so that's what i gotta say about that let's get a synchronicity card now you guys message from the stars message from the cards we already got one coming out i didn't even get to properly ask uh for our advice but we already got it and guess what it says count on god which is literally like what did i say nine of swords in reverse with the wheel of fortune upright over it no no we don't this we don't need to worry this time this is the surrender the burden with the knowledge that things are being handled from a higher power energy um and then we get the synchronicity card that literally says count on god so that's what i think that we should do instead of maybe just like worrying ourselves so much or getting caught maybe in a state of like anxiety or panic about like not knowing exactly what's going on or how things are going to play out out right now count on God and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper Psalms 1 3 you will prosper you will grow and expand the law of attraction is now working for you and you attract all those who will help you in reaching your goals spiritually and materially so there's some positivity for you you guys like things are being divinely aligned and realigned and put back on track and put back like on the course to the way that they're supposed to go right now whether or not it looks that way or it feels that way um we got some retrograde energy going on right now and uh things are about to reconfigure themselves and straighten themselves out and it's going to be real interesting to see how all this goes moving forward so that's what i have to say today you guys all the information i hope you guys liked the video if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share it with your friends if you think that they would be interested in this type of astrology content as well leave me comments you guys i'm so grateful for your presence here i really appreciate all of you so much um if you're having experiences that do line up or reflect what i'm talking about in these videos please let me know in my comment section below i would really appreciate that if you want to know what's on this here whiteboard i have a facebook group where i post images of those linked in my description box below and come back with me on Wednesday you guys we've got again more <laughs> big astrology to get into very Jupiterian day on Wednesday Mercury and Jupiter coming back into their second of three exact oppositions with one another both of them are retrograde we've got missing pieces of the puzzle coming through this week you guys and I will be back to talk more about it so you don't want to miss it I will see you then have a beautiful introduction opening start to your week you guys and until next time bye